Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this half cut crease smoky eye with winged liner. I did go a little bit more on the dramatic side. I whipped out some motherfucking scotch tape for this bad boy today. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you want to see. Hashtag Kendall's Vanity. If you guys decide to recreate any of my looks, I definitely want to see all of those. If you guys want to see how I created this look then please just keep on watching hey guys welcome back to my channel um, obviously I already have done a intro and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this tutorial um, I'm doing something a little bit different than I normally do I'm actually whipping out some tape we're getting a little dramatic today on my channel I'm going to be doing a more brown half cut crease smoky eye. So what I'm going to first start off doing, this is too long, is taping off my eyes so I can really get that elongated sharp edge look. So I'm going to just be taking some scotch tape. This is some gift wrapping tape. I always put it on the back of my hand. I have like, I have my foundation on, my brows done, and some um, cream bronzer too. So I don't want to take all of that off, but I am skipping concealer for the time being. And I'm going to go up underneath of my lashes and kind of put it on as if I were creating a wing. I always leave a little bit of skin right here because I have like an almond shaped eye. So leaving a little skin here kind of brings the eye down and over more. It kind of opens up the center, in my opinion. So I like to leave a little area there just so some of the, the eyeshadow can fall into that as well. Good way to tell that there even before you stick down is lean back and look down and see where they fall. But now that we're all taped up, we are going to go first in with our transition shade. Today we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette as always. I will have no regrets in using the Jaclyn Hill palette for almost everything because it's literally the palette for fucking everything. So, and I am also going to be using this Too Faced. It came in like a carousel, um, a, like holiday package probably like two years ago. It was just a bunch of different little mini palettes like this. And then this has more of those browner tones. So I'm going to be dipping into Creamsicle. And then this is going to go all over because we are doing a half cut crease. So you want it to be very defined in the mid, in the center of the eye as well. I'm going to be taking my Morphe 139, dipping into the shade Mocha from the palette. I'm focusing it on one half of the product, and I'm, or one half of the brush, and I'm keeping that facing down toward the lid. I'm not, bring, I'm not facing that up towards the brow bone. And then I'm going to kind of slowly bring it onto the eyelid. And then I'm just going to start to blend it up with no additional product. And I'm going to take just a little bit more of the mocha, concentrating it here, and then just kind of working it up, but in the inner V. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and cut the crease. I am going to be using this e.l.f. Small Smudger Brush and some Fair Concealer. Very, very light-handedly. Place it close to the lash line, then look up, and it's going to cut your crease where I need be. And then kind of just blend the concealer out into the lid. take a flat brush. I'm going to take this lip brush actually. I'm going to pick up Beam and set the crease. Now that the crease is cut, ignore the edges here because we're going to go and fix them right now. So what I'm going to do is dip into Central Park. It's a really dark brown shade. Um, I'm going to keep that focused on one half of the brush facing down. And I'm going to work that right on top of where we put Mocha. 
and darken that and then kind of start to tap it onto the lid and blending it into our half cut cream. Going really light handed, kind of tapping. And then what I'm gonna do is take a clean brush with a little bit of beam on it. And you're literally gonna just kind of tap back and forth between the two. Now that that is done, I am gonna go ahead and take just like a smudger brush and I'm going to be dipping into a little, little, little bit of mocha. And I'm going to be taking that right above my cut crease. Be careful not to touch the actual like crease that you cut because you want it to stay really defined. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of that gold, the angel hair from this guy on my detail shader brush by Bare Minerals. I am gonna go ahead and spritz that with a little bit of um, Mario Badescu setting spray, picking this gold up very heavily. So like, honest, if you want it to be more dramatic, just leave it like this, because this is very dramatic. Doing the gold tapers all of the colors kind of together, makes it more wearable. Um, I also did the beam first because I wanted the gold to not go dark because a lot of the times golds will go really dark if you don't have like a, a more luminous base underneath of them. And there was concealer, but I just didn't want to risk it. So I went ahead and set the liquid down, kind of got a little brightness out of it. And then now I'm placing the gold. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my winged liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this off camera. Just a quick wing, guys. Just slap her on there. BRB. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some false lashes. Guys, I don't know. I wish I wouldn't have thrown the box in the way. All three of these, I don't know what they are. Well, two of them are the same. These two are the same. This one, these ones, I just don't know. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for it. Oh. Oh, bitch. Oh, I forgot. I haven't even put concealer on yet. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is pop a little concealer on. I am going to be using a mixture between my medium and light bare skin liquid concealer by Bare Minerals. Just because your girl wants to be a little highlighted. All right. So now I'm just going to blend this out. The key with concealer I've noticed lately, put it where you want it and press it there. Don't blend it around everywhere. Focus it right where you need it until it's nice and like compact and then kind of blend out the edges. I'm gonna be doing like a foundation updated like base routine. That's why I'm not doing any bases. And now I'm just gonna take some powder. All right, so now for the bottom lash line. I am going to go ahead and start off with the orange shade, the cream sickle, and smoke out my bottom lash lines with that. And now I am going to be taking a little bit of mocha on a smudger brush, tapping off the excess intensely and focusing that kind of a little closer to the lashes. Okay, and then I'm gonna pause here and do the rest of my face because I don't like doing bottom waterline and smudging out black when, or dark, dark brown in this case, when I haven't had my, the rest of my face completed. So I am gonna go ahead, take my um, contour kit. Like I told you guys before, I have the medium and the tan. I take, uh, I took all of the bronzers out of the light and I put all the light, the illuminators in the one and all the bronzers in the two, basically. Um, so this is just a mixture of all of those bronzers. Just use your favorite bronzer just to really nicely warm up the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my Bare Minerals contour kit and I'm just gonna dip into the banana shade to kind of dust away any excess under the eyes and give myself a nice under eye highlight with this look. It, it looks really nice to have, it looks more dramatic to have like a nice under eye highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Mario Badescu spray. 
And then throw on a little bit of my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my bottom waterline with this black liner. I'm going to just be taking my definer brush and a little bit of Central Park, the dark, dark brown, blending out that black eyeliner into it. All right, so I went ahead and set my brows off camera, just a little brown mascara. And now I'm going to be popping on a lip. Today I'm using Dolce K by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm using the liner and the lipstick. This is like one of my favorite lip um, lipsticks I've ever gotten. I haven't worn it in a really long time, so I'm kind of super pumped to wear it right now. All right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. I'm actually really pleased with the outcome. I don't normally enjoy dramatic, dramatic looks, as I always say. I need to stop saying that. I sound like a fucking broken wrecker. Oh, okay. But I, I really enjoy this. I'm actually starting to fall in love with dramatic looks. Um, this is just, you know, your average half cut crease winged liner. I feel like this is like what most everyone loves to do and loves to see. So I'm really excited to see your guys' reactions on this. I did do a matte liquid lip, which I haven't done in a while, like a true matte liquid. It feels really weird to have on for real. Um, but I'm really excited. I actually, my, my favorite part about this whole tutorial are uh, how easily these lashes came on. Like that shit was so easy. Um, but thanks again, you guys, for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys loved this and all of the other tutorials that I've released at this time. Um, I'm really excited to see what 2018 has in store for us. So keep an eye out and let's have some fun. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on social networking. It's Kendall, one in five L's on Twitter and Instagram. Facebook's just my name, but I never get on Facebook. So uh, paint my Instagram and Twitter, bitch, because that's where the real shit happens. So I love you guys so much, and thank you again for your time, and have a great motherfucking day. And so, oh, bitch. Oh my God, she is here. She has cam. Oh, I'm really into this right now. Um, found, um. Oh, bitch. Um, you can use, they have iPads now, like anything really, I don't care. I mean, it's like up to you. Your girl's about to be so dramatic right now. And I am going to be overdrawing my lips today just cause it's Kylie's. Like it's, you have to overdraw your lips with Kylie's product. Um, I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna tape down the tape. Um, 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 we'll have to, um, um. All right, I miss so many spots shaving. <laughs> Ignore it.